All right. Welcome to a Mikey Monday. Mikey Monday. I thought no. it was Margarita Monday. That Mexican food Monday. I could think, it could it could go all kinds I, of ways. Yeah, I really don't think that Mexican food has any position in the week because it happens so often. So it doesn't get a title. <laughs> it's not special enough. Sure, it does. Mm, it it's really always no. it's always special. It's a little small celebration. It's really not. Most of the time, it's me crying because I don't it's, want any more Mexican food. It's a small celebration no. of that which is employing people and doing what we do. I think that that's that's how I look at it. Do you not? That's a tiny little celebration. We get to spin our. The last time I felt a celebration about it was when I learned I could add raspberry to my margaritas. <laughs> Other than that, I'm like, more Mexican food that oh. will probably leave there or in the car or you're going to eat before I get a chance to. We, we could have ramen tonight. You want to do ramen? That's not funny. Ooh, wait, yeah. The, the ramen at that one place that you love. Yeah, you're hilarious. That'd be great. Mm -hmm. Anyways, well, welcome everybody. We're yeah. going to wait for some of y'all to the tune Hi, in. Hi, Scoop. What's up, Scooby-Doo? Scooby-Doo is in the house. Hey, Joe. Hola. Como estas, Joe? Joe G. Larry. Larry O'Daniel. Welcome to Please the program. Please tell me how an Irish accent. Why, why is yours so much faster? In Sprintco says there was nothing forwarded. Were you oh. sending him an image? Yes, I know. I was. I was waiting to forward until he let me. I was waiting to forward until he let me know that he got the first message. So it didn't seem like a crazy person was just you know randomly emailing him the forwarded message. I mean, it so depends on how you look at it. It kind of. Anyways, what's up, Michaela? Michaela Uproar! Stiltner. What is going on? Robert. Uproar. What's going on? Robert Young, what's up? Larry O'Daniel. That's what I want to Don't I mess with me, Gold. <laughs> huh? Don't mess with me, Gold. That's that's oh, my best the, oh, Irish. Oh, okay. Like, I thought Don't, I thought that was like a tag. Nobody messes with me, Lucky Charms. What? I don't know what accent that was. Yeah. That was <laughs> terrible. Was that your Irish accent? That's amazing. Do it again. <laughs> it is being. That's awesome. Uproar. Scooby Doo says uproar. <laughs> Jason. I I I I'm trying to think of what I know what you sent over to him, but we we'll have to have a talk about that because I think they just want a white screen print so they can well, they, heat press on it. He's asking about rec um, recommendations or something. I don't know. The English is a little poor, but um, the gist gets across. So he's, he's like, looking what for would you... a transfer paper. Yeah, and he's like, "What do you recommend for?" And well, we'll talk about it. Um, I'll I'll send him a link to something. Well, oh, damn it! You said there's you didn't just know. there's just I so I, I figured do, I just ask Jason. I I do, however. Um, hey Matthew. I don't know. It, it's like we're we're putting in the. I don't want to say putting in the research for somebody else, but, I mean, so. It, it's turning into one of those. Heavy ho hand holding kind of clients, where which we're gonna have to. We got our. If if anything, having a couple, two or three tiers of. This order is super simple. This person's super simple to handle. Are we gonna? Their order's easy. And then you have your kind of medium. I thought this was here. our bullshit part of the hour. <laughs> it is. Uh, view to a grill. What's up? What's going on? Hope everybody is doing well. Hope everybody had a, a great weekend. We worked. Well, I, I should say I did. I worked. Quite a bit. Shane, what did you do Saturday? I slept. So what time? It's okay. You can well, say Well, no, it depends. It depends because half the time I was awake because so Forced. much opening, opening the doors and stuff. But I, most of the time I was playing possum because they kept going, Shane, I'm Shane. I'm like, no, can't hear you. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll have to talk about that here in a little bit. 
Thanks, Anthony. Thanks for all the help. Yes, Anthony. Thank you. To be fair, <laughs> I hadn't taken my medicine. I was like a cranky zombie with the mobility speed of that one old lady Walmart cashier that you hope you never end up with. Like, that's how fast I was going. I just sat there watching you before Anthony came, I, and I didn't know I who was, was coming, but I just sat there watching you, like, sucking on a popsicle. Uh, <laughs> Go ahead, how many, how many? Who's sucking on a popsicle? I was sucking on a popsicle. Oh, I was, about, I was like, I wouldn't have no popsicle. I what have What are popsicle. you talking about? <laughs> I'm watching you work, and I'm just eating a popsicle. Yeah, I was, I was up Saturday from 6 a.m. till 2 p.m. printing, and our one of our clients came, contract client, came to help out just to make sure we can get it done in time because uh, there was just quite a large load uh, um, of <laughs> orders to do really fast and the event was the day of I, I, I know we her. I know we had a little hey, bit Greg. of wiggle room but she was playing it safe at least for that day I was hoping to get everything done Friday but there was just no way Anyway, so let's go ahead and we'll we'll kick this over so that way y'all can see our lovely faces. And we'll get to the topic at hand. Oh my god, so the new intro has Panda in it? He doesn't <laughs> oh, even work here anymore. Do you see that? Yes. <laughs> no, he, he's he's a consultant now. That's uh that's his role as a consultant. That's uh, scary. Pro bono. Pro bono consultant. I, I had to change it up because I got tired of looking at the, the intro where it was like us printing maybe at the when when did we get the shop? April last year. April last year. Yeah, that had to have been like July or August of last year. Maybe maybe even before then. It, it, I think it was like in April. Oh, Anyhow, I, I just thought it was fitting that uh, you're looking at blue shirts again. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and kick this over and we'll get this party started. You know, I'm actually tired. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the little program that is our shenanigans and us talking about certain topics. And Matt has a picture and that he po he's posing for like Pawn Stars. You, you like that? No, you really. like that? I, I've had so many, just uh, so much great feedback about that. I, I worked my butt off on it, Shannon. Oh, I know. Yeah, you know, I'm just as soon as you make a, a new intro that's. To your liking, well, I'll, I don't I'll care be, about it. I don't care about it enough to do that. I'll, I'll be happy to post it up there. But anyhow, so what we're going to talk about first? Damn nats, man. Um, we're going to see how everybody's week went, what kind of news is going on, and then for this. there there was a, a really good question that I had on on YouTube that. I kind of wanted to make a video of it, just not a, a live portion of it, but I also Ow. wanted Shannon to be part of this, and I wanted you guys to be part of this for those of you that, that do have a shop. And that, that question was, when will Shannon, how many times will Shannon fall out of her stool? Every time she falls out of her stool, y'all have to Stop take a shot. It, Stop it. Get you, you all right over there? No, actually my ass hurts. And I'm trying to get <laughs> it off the top. Stop. No, don't don't push that shit. Don't. I'm oh my god. Y'all see y'all see what I have to deal with over here. Hey, uh um, terrible bedside man. I'm just messing with you. Ow. That's not funny. Welcome to our extremely dick. professional <laughs> program. <laughs> oh my lord! If only I had the camera a little lower. <laughs> he knocked me off. Okay. So, for those of you that that are new, tuning in for the first time, um, my name is Matt. Uh, the person that was on the floor. That is Shannon Westybrook. 
You could just call me Gnome. <laughs> <laughs> Shanny Westybrook. I'll go with Gnome. Oh my lord. Jason but, just goes, ha, 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 ha. So the, the you, topic Jason. at hand, aside from Shannon falling at her out of her oh, stool, we got some stuff. is and we'll get to that here in a second. Is uh, so I had a good question about moving out of the garage and into a shop, asking us questions about how quickly. And I felt like the the question was a little geared towards they felt like they needed to produce a certain amount of shirts in order to afford the shop, which I don't think is the case. And you should just price accordingly to what your volume is. And just if you haven't already thought about putting, if you're in the garage, you should consider putting in just kind of looking around maybe filling out spaces and adding that cost in there raise your your prices up accordingly so that way you can get a shop and so he, he's kind of asking how quickly the return was on or or how much new business we saw from that so well, i'm gonna we're gonna dive into that in depth because i know we can go into that subject for a while but i feel like What's wrong? Did you fall with your cup? Did you no. spill anything? No. Did you spill your coffee? No. <laughs> uh, there we go. That's better. Oh, my Lord. So. Um, I love how you pose me in the most flattering lights ever. What's wrong with your lighting? Your lighting is pretty light, awesome. Ex exactly. I'm talking. It's a, it's a phrase. That's afraid. You want me to, to get me a little? Paint the most flattering light, you know. You as me... you sit there and go, ha ha ha! I like, guess I'm crawling on the floor with a dog on top of me. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, they say a, a picture is worth a thousand words, and then a video is worth a million. I, Views. I didn't do anything. Oh, she probably has more than that. So why don't you come up a little closer to the microphone? Just scoot you a little closer. Here, let me help you. Don't fall over. <laughs> Will you get up for a second? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Come a little closer. There you go. Don't be shy. Well, I was planning on standing tonight because I don't really feel like sitting, but you had like at a weird angle for standing, so I just decided to sit. That's, and that's then it. I fall over. So, you know, basically it all boils down to you, it being your fault. You know, that, that's the same angle. Woman logic. You're at every single time. You said the other day that you liked the, the angle, and I mean, it's that camera stand only goes so high. Right, well, we're not going to go too far into discussing my vanity. Anyways, Orange Start um, had a, the choice of um, <laughs> washing out screens or watching the live. So, sub Orange Star, we gave away one of your um, bottles to um, our employee. You need to get you a, a an Omar, so that way they can just do the screens for you, or a Panda... I can say that our screen screen reclaimers and those who help out around the shop in the humid 100 degree heat that is Houston heat, they tend to let's just say the the turnover rate is starting to seem pretty high. A little bit. O Omar didn't show up a couple days. Well, Thursday and Friday. Still, he's like, it's I still got a part time thing. He he thinks that he's he's a full time. We said employee. part time. Right, but he when he filled out his paperwork, he put full time. I'm like, okay, let's see if you show up full time because well, he hadn't he really. All, oh, no, his mother filled it out for him. Remember? Oh, yeah. But it looked like his handwriting though. She probably made him fill it out, and then she probably told him where to check. Okay, I wonder how old he is. Anyways. Not old enough to drink. I'll tell you that. <laughs> He's not old enough to buy a pack of cigarettes either. <laughs> yeah, that sucks. <laughs> uh, they raised the uh, limit from 18 to 21, which I think is good here in Texas. So, But let's go over to the chat and see, see what's going on. And then we're going to dive into our little topic that is, okay. I, I think, a lot of our viewers may have that on their mind and, and orange star I, i'd like for you to chime in as well and for those of you that have a shop got out the garage whatever the case may be okay first off um i'm gonna move your microphone because it's right I, in your face 
Go ahead. I moved it. Okay. There, there we go. Oh yeah. Let's get it. That's not easy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Better. Okay. So first off, I uh, told somebody they did. They I answered the phone. They said, "Hello, this is is this gnome?" And I was like, "Yes." And they never told me their name, but I said I'd say hi to them on on the live. So, hello, random anonymous person. Chop no <laughs> shout out. And John said he would be in the front seat, and he wants to do he wants artwork done, and he watches the live. Um, he said he'd be in the front seat. Yep. What What does that mean? Like you know. Like, oh, just just watching. Yeah. The live. Okay. Yeah. So, hey, John. Cheers. <laughs> okay. And I hit my nose doing that. Um. Anyways, so, 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 um, Scoob's got more Navy orders, which is cool. That's awesome. Yeah. Very cool. We used to how, do, how... um, we used to do orders for, um, what was it? It wasn't ROTC, it was, um. It's the other thing, yeah. It was like what, the, res was it the reserves or? No, it wasn't the reserves, it was some other Coast kind of Guard? thing. Like, it was something, no, it wasn't Coast Guard. I don't know, it was some training program, um, but that's about as much as I can relate to that. Um, uh, and Jason, he calibrated his press. I'm going to pretend I know what that means. Cool. How much better is that working out for you now that you took a little bit of time to to go through and actually spend a little time setting things up? I, I know there's been times where I'm like, man, I need to really just go back and level everything and get everything situated. And it definitely makes things work a lot better, e even with the automatic that we got out here. Ooh, speaking of speaking of automatics. So don't I'm, don't give it away. I'm not I'm not gonna give it away. Um, I'm just gonna give you all. So here's here's our little bit of shop news, and got a call from the rep. It'll be here in a month, one month, and then we got to schedule a tech to come out. Um, we we initially were were going for a seven eight press, but. We are doing a <laughs> and this kind of um Shannon wasn't happy about the news, and I was just like, we're doing a a nine ten <laughs> I just thought I was gonna finally get more space <laughs> uh, so the the little bit of space that we were gonna save is um pretty much gonna take up the same footprint, yeah. but i'm I'm so excited about it like i can't wait for it to come in and we're this close to we've had a lot of people asking about the press and initially i started the price out pretty low i f i felt like i didn't really wasn't asking for enough and i initially told shannon a specific number and then I, I kind of went down because I just did, really didn't want to fool with it a whole lot. And then Shannon was like, Psh! slapped some sense into me. Not literally. <laughs> it was like, why? You put a lot of work into it. And, and Orange Star actually was a big help as well. He, he swung by. I, I saw him twice last week, uh, um, oddly enough. He he swung by, gave us some more hot sauce. We, we talked it up and then saw him at, at GSG because I had to get some last minute stuff. But so we we raised the price a couple thousand, and because there is a lot a lot of interest in it, um, if there's anybody willing to to beat the highest bidder, you just let us know over in the chat. Because um, well, the highest bidder is willing to just put a, um, put the whole thing down in cash. So I don't think I don't well, want to play we, it anymore. I think we're doing fine. I think this we, is the best bet we're gonna get, and I know when to you know walk away from the table. Yeah, but we talked on the phone. He's like, man, you know, this is a third of the price of a new one. I'm like, yeah, you're right. You know, I, I put a lot of new parts into that. Huh. And a lot of time. Oh, so, so he says it and it clicks. 
<laughs> no, I, I knew. I just I just didn't want to want to be sitting on a press that we would have to put in storage rather than taking selling that press and then putting it towards the new one. You know what I mean? Mm. <laughs> Sorry. Anyhow, so that's that's the um the news for us and All right. We still got uh, still a lot of a lot of work to do. Um, some other news I, I would say that maybe Shen hadn't really quite been involved in uh, catalog. Been working on that for a while, which I'm gonna have Shannon review it. And then the other thing is I've really been. Um, I've told Shannon about the the Profit First book, and I'm like, maybe we should get that, read it audio book whatever we can listen to it or she can read it out loud whatever the case is or i, I i'm not much of a, a reader i'm more of an audio visual kind of person hearing it um i don't know but books aren't aren't really my thing so uh t i'm gonna take this profit first concept into into play see how that works out but also really kind of diving into all of our expenses and everything. And th there's a new concept that I've kind of come across because of Printavo and some of the things that they have online it was the fact that, you know, we're normally kind of like calculating things based on, Oh, it's going to take X amount of hours. I can print X amount of shirts per hour. However, when you have a, a good workload, we're not always printing like, 100% of the day and, and part of that I forget the term but it basically is the concept that most shops run in between and depending on whether you're manual or, or an automatic a shop with automatic how many presses you have and all that what your efficiency is because you're not there's times where you're, you're setting up you're counting shirts you're getting all the shirts um. set up and so I'm just going to wrap this up real quick. It's it's the percentage that your press is actually running during the day. And I'd never really considered that. And so even if you're charging $100 an hour, uh, you're not necessarily making money during your downtime. You got to be making money during the downtime too. So, yeah. Okay. So first I just want to do this. Um, Paulo Rodriguez is, says, Salve Pro Brasil. About four times now. Um, what does that mean? I don't know, but it will be sending it this all over. I think it's just, you know. Um, I'm not sure if he's a reader. He Like, everything is in. <laughs> Hold on. Let me. Is it? Is it uh, I think he's, I think are you Portugal? saying it's not in Portuguese? Not in English? Where, where is this at? Uh, towards the bottom. Um, oh, that's what it says. Please get send a shout out to the people of um. Uh, did did you do a Google? Paolo? No, Scoob said it. Um, he said it like four times. So, um, what's up, Paulo? <laughs> so, Sal, Paulo. Paulo. Hi, peace. Shout out, shop gnome. Shout out. Oh my God. That actually looked a little. <laughs> Nazi ish, so that shouldn't have been like that. I, it should have been more like angled like this, need, not like this. <laughs> I need to monitor the, the uh, level over there. I, I got your microphone in a good place, but that kind of really, anyways. But yeah, what's up, Paulo? Sa it's, Sao it's, Paulo. It's Paulo Rodriguez. Paulo? Is it Paulo or Paulo? I don't know. Paulo. Paulo. I can't pronounce shit. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> You're the reader. You're you're the one with the. I know, so it's a really unfortunate, like you know, hindrance of mine. <laughs> you're the one with the doctorates over here, Doctor Shannon. The doctorates in law. I can t I can tell you how to pronounce like most of the things. Don't in Latin. cheapen it, Shannon. Don't cheapen it. It's pretty cheap, it except you're, for the. You're a doctor, okay? Except for the years. Um, you're not a medical doctor. You're not going to save anybody's life. But no, my dad is, and so I've learned a lot from him. Yeah. Well, this is true. This is true. I don't. <laughs> I'm thinking. I'm like, you know, it could be at family dinner and uh, something go wrong. He would like, oh yeah, th this is going on. 
However, and he's off. He's off the clock. <laughs> I don't want to fool with that. You know, my dad was actually on, like, is there a do- um, was in a situation where, like, you know, it's a classic, is there a doctor in the house type thing, except it was on an airplane. They were flying back from France or something. I don't care. <laughs> but um, so they, they so they go, and this guy has, like, all these health issues and, like, collapses on the floor, and they're like, excuse me, on the intercom, is there any doctors on this flight and my dad steps i was like did he eat the feet he ate the legs off of it thank you for the story that's it. sorry i didn't mean to interrupt that everybody um apollo is eating our son's dinosaur's feet off he's a paraplegic now he is so he he's on the plane and they they asked for a doctor yeah, i forgot i've lost some momentum and he's like, yes, and showed a credit card to, to prove it, right? Yeah, yeah, because they were like, do you have identification? He's like, well, we don't need identification in the United States. So, no, I don't have, like, you know, like a little license. But he showed him a credit card that just said MD afterwards. The um, the flight attendant, he looked at it, <laughs> and he goes, okay, we go. Okay. <laughs> we, we <laughs> Turns out the guy was fine, but my dad actually got to be in one of those situations. It was like, that is so much more interesting than anything that would ever happen to me. John Gershom's a freaking liar. <laughs> well, I thought I'm I was surprised. gonna be. A, I thought I was gonna be a lawyer or John Grisham novel, and all of a sudden I'm just like looking around, and I'm like, "This is really boring compared to what I thought was going on." It's a hard lesson to learn. It was a hundred thousand dollar lesson I had to yeah, learn. Yeah, yeah. Let's see, brands and empires. Hey Matt, the transition from garage to shop can be. Oh, let me switch the camera view over here. Let's go ahead. I think this will be a, a great transition. So, Brands and Empires, he's, from my understanding, new YouTube channel. I've seen some of his videos, very well spoken. Uh, I think he has some great advice on his experiences and looking, more, looking forward to more of his videos. But he says, hey, Matt, the transition from garage to shop can be an absolute shock. Having been there, our operating cost was... 14,500 for several employees in a 2,400 square foot shop. I joined late, so I missed a lot. Um, you've missed some shenanigans and just kind of like an overall summary of what we're going to talk about. And I fell over. But, so I think this will be a, a good transition from the uh, Shannon's father and, and herself being a doctor, so to speak. But... <laughs> <laughs> Why are there quotations in Well, that? I mean, okay, anyways, let's go ahead and hit the topic because it's about 7.30. So, thank you for the, the feedback, Branza. Uh, what, what is your name, by the way? I, I don't, uh, I know I've seen a few of your videos, but let us know. If you have a, a comment towards us, do at Mikey Designs and Silk Screens that way. Uh, we can see it a little easier, and it'll be easier for us to kind of filter through some of the chat between everybody. But that that is a huge jump for us. I wouldn't say it really was as huge of a jump because our our rent space here is seven hundred and fifty dollars. Granted, it's it's extra money to have the shop, and then light bill, phone, uh, insurance whatever else comes along with the, the new shop expense. So going into it, we didn't really go after something where it's like, here's a crap ton of space. Like for us, it was an improvement just to get out of the garage and not be as cramped. However, we're getting cramped. We're still going to make the best out of the space we do have. It's a thousand square foot. And uh, one of the questions somebody had I think was this industrial fan that was just delivered doesn't help. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. We just keep accumulating more crap in the shop and it's like, where'd all the space go? Aside from the, the huge automatic in there. It, so we when we got a shop, it, we definitely wore definitely had that kind of stomach dropping kind of feeling. It, there's there's always those little moments where you, you take the ne- next step and then like man is this going to work out like is this gonna sink us it's kind of a sink or swim kind of situation and i almost feel like we're we're in that spot again having Ow! The, sorry you all right no having the the four of us 
working here and like I and this is one of the reasons I'm reevaluating our pricing is because uh, we got Omar helping out in the shop. We got Michelle, even though they're part timers three days a week, it's still an, an added, you know, $2,500 a month in which we do see the return. However, a lot of our pricing has been based off of Shannon and myself and haven't revisited it just kind of felt like if we're getting more work in and out then we'll be able to the, pay for our employees but money's like getting pretty tight so going back and, and revisiting all that and making sure that we're charging enough based at, at the rate we are and, and a lot of it goes back to training as well i mean there's a lot of time and money invested in training new employees wouldn't you say shannon Oh yeah, quite a bit. Like, so I'll I'll say for for us getting into our relatively inexpensive shop, and one of the questions was how long did it take for you to see some sort of return on getting a shop? And I would say immediately because one of the first things we did was we're moving everything in. People are wondering, hey, what's this new business? But also we put the door graphics up pretty quickly. And we're like, oh, screen printing, embroidery, promotional products. You know what? A lot of people were just curious. Can I get a, a sign for my shop? And, and part of it too was not only just like keeping ourselves to screen printing, but op opening ourselves up to embroidery promotional products, putting our, our plotter to use, doing um, storefront graphics, trailers, um, doing signs for businesses up up above, just, just anything to really kind of find a way to basically make money, put, put our, like every, all of our skills to, to use. And I, I think we've kind of come to a point towards where we're like, okay, we've, explored a lot of avenues in the sense of like business cards heck i got a job tinning somebody's windows because they saw the job we did here and they're like oh, oh how much would you charge the tent windows which i still need to get around to i'm not very excited about doing that yeah but, I've, I've noticed like you know the ones you're not excited about you kind of put off well not only that it omar has called in a couple times this past week well, and his car is breaking down I, what was the excuse Friday? Anyways, um, so you can see some of the things we're, we're dealing with and how we've kind of expanded some of our services. And, and I know Shannon initially wasn't very excited about outsourcing embroidery to a well, wholesale she... vendor. And it's because we had some bad experiences with some of our, some of our vendors that we're outsourcing our work to. And that kind of put a bad taste, not only in her mouth, but, but mine as well. But also thought, you know, there, there's still money to be made here. All we have to do is really send this work off and then we can mark our garments up 200%, 150%, whatever the case may be. That's what we're supposed to be doing. All right. Oops. And and that's how we, we make our profit. And we also charge 50 bucks for digitizing and that's sent overseas where someone does it for like 10 bucks. All we got to do is forward the art and email, make sure everything looks cool. There's a little more risk involved. So you got to like really just keep an eye on it as we do with everything. But I'd say when we moved into the shop, we immediately started seeing an increase. Like we were doing maybe about eight, ten thousand dollars worth of sales a month at the house. And then as soon as we got the shop, it went up another four or five thousand dollars on average. We the first day we had enough people in the, this office, I was like panicked. Like it was, it was overwhelming. Like just because everybody was curious, and they were like, "Hey, can you get me a quote on this? Can you get me a quote on this?" And I'm just like, sit, and I'm still sitting there getting used to the idea of people opening the door and they me not going, in. "Oi, rude!" Right. And so I was just like bombarded the first day because everybody on the block was like coming in like honest to god 
every single freaking shop was like very pretty and we still have a, a lot of those clients that come to oh, us yeah. regularly yeah. at yeah. least we might once every that. three months right oh yeah when you can ken, ken comes and ken ken does dickies embroidery which is been awesome to Even the though point it's been awesome to the point that i feel kind of bad so i had to explain to him look you realize if you just order a couple more <laughs> you know oh yeah because i felt bad by the end of it because he's like spending hundreds of dollars because he's going through clients like freaking water you mean employees whatever i wonder what that's like <laughs> i mean we're, we've gone we're through gonna... one we had two temps yeah, but I, I I don't want to discuss that on on air. But you know the one of the things I had to explain to one of our clients was us counting on our employees to be here, and not call in, so we can keep with our keep up with our schedule. And then when they don't, it sets everything back. And God forbid I get sick. And that too. If you I'm get delicate. sick, I get sick. I mean, it just sets everything back. So eventually I would like to get to a point towards where I don't even have to be out there printing. It's going to be a little bit, one, because I, I want to be out there printing. And especially with this new press coming in, uh, I want to be out there kind of, um, it's a new toy for one. And then I enjoy it. I'm not tired of it yet. I, I've found that I'm getting better at it every day, getting faster at setups, and I curse a lot less. Shannon? Mm? <laughs> I curse just as much as usual. Uh, I mean, there, there's a, a time where, I don't know, I, I would just get frustrated because screen printing, as you guys know, that it's not as easy as it looks, and... A lot of times there's a lot of undercutting and you're you're not exactly getting paid to paid for your time. And this is where I'm I'm really coming to a point where I'm take considering all the, the unpacking, the, the downtime, how how often we're printing, like analyzing every little thing and going to revise it. So that way we're not we're we're going to kind of weed out some of those clients that don't want to pay what we deserve to be paid will give us time to find clients that will and not only that just making sure that i mean we're a business for profit that we're getting profit and that profit can be tucked away and um actually guys and here's a big red flag if you find yourself looking at something and working on something and you just start muttering to yourself i am not getting paid enough for this you're not which we do that at times. Yeah. We we I can't say it's um every single day it's like, oh yeah, we're getting paid a ton of money for this. No, it's just sometimes it's like some of the clients like you're doing like all this work for it and you know it's not, you know you're not getting paid for it. If you if you feel like you're not getting paid for what you're worth, then you're not. And there have been a lot of times where I'm just going I'm like researching something or I'm trying to hunt something down for hours and like promo I, products. Yeah. And I'm just like, I'm not getting paid enough for this. I, I just spent three hours with zero results and you know what? I could be out there, you know, getting quotes to people right now, but no, this has to be a priority. And I am, I got, yeah. So if it's, it's just a red flag. So if you feel yourself saying that to saying that you're, Probably not. I'll definitely say that that's probably one of, not probably, it is one of those things that where we, we tried it and kind of tested it, tested it out. And then comes when it comes down to it, we're really not exactly making what we should be. And there's a, there's a lot of footwork. Like, it's the hardest 25 bucks I've ever worked for yeah, in and my life. It's not thing. even 25 bucks. It's why? like 25 bucks divided between three hours. Right. And then, I mean, we have to consider, you know, um, we have to pay ourselves, which, you know, we're, we're not exactly driving expensive cars. We don't have an expensive lifestyle. So, I mean, we're paying ourselves and then our, our shop overhead. And then we got our employees. You know, I mean, when it comes down to it, 
you know, our, our shop, what we should be making hourly is around $135. So if Shannon's over there looking something up for a couple, two, three hours for 25, 50 bucks, and it's not really worth the time. When... And then I go to Etsy and find everything. <laughs> yeah. So, um, that, that's one of the things that I've really been just reevaluating just to make sure that we're going to survive. And uh, I know initially starting off and kind of preaching, like I, I need to be taking a page from what I'm about to say. It's the not looking at other shops pricing and really pricing to your own shop because everybody's situation is different. You, you got different overhead. You could be uh, in your garage where the case is. And I mean, if say for instance, someone comes to us and there's been a lot of times where like, say for instance, someone referred a new client to us and then they're like, we're paying so-and-so at this website $3 and 50 cents for 75 shirts with a six color print on the front and a two color print on the back. I'm like, there is no way yeah. that we could even make any money off of that. And those are the type of clients that's like, well, go, go to them. Yeah. And that was actually something I learned in sales. If like they give you that kind of, you know, ultimatum, you just tell them that's amazing. If I were you, I'd take it and run because you can't beat the prices. It's no use haggling. And frankly, if they do decide to go with you, it's going to be a fight every step of the way. And um, I have a couple, they have a couple like stuff, things in here, but wait, that's when you're done. Okay. Hi, yeah. Well, well, I missed you. Well, hey, what's up? We'll wrap this up. And I, I just want to kind of, because I felt like this is a really good topic and we, we do get questions about it often. And I, I would say one of the biggest things, not only getting getting out of, out of the garage, out of your basement, wherever the case may be, it, it makes you more visible to new potential clients. It's not off-putting. <laughs> there, there are those that understand that you're a home business and they're fine working with you, but there's quite a bit of business out there where they want to deal with the business, not a home business. And they don't take it as seriously when you're at home. There's been a lot of times where we've um, been turned down because of that. And then not only that with, let's say for instance, Google business and, and having a map to an actual business versus they, they look up your business like, Oh, I'm going to swing right. by this place real quick. See you later. I beats. And they find out it's a home. They go into a neighborhood and they're like, oh, this is a neighborhood. It, I mean, there's that kind of uncomfortable situation of going into someone's home and you're trying to conduct business there. Not to say that it can't be done, but there is definitely an advantage to having a physical location. Because we've had people just show up that found us online because of uh, Google business listing and just show up unannounced. Hey, yeah, I just want to check it out. And then the like, dog terrifies we, the shit out of them. Right. We we had um we see you have like the only review we have on Yelp is like one negative review and that's a whole nother story. But so they, they come and, and talk to us and we kind of brought value to the situation because we're like, you know, we explained it, we talked to them talked to them, related to them on a, a very personal level, showed them all the different styles of shirts that we do have in our tiny little shop here, uh, but it, it's our best sellers and we were able to uh, make that sell because of it. And it, it, it definitely makes a difference. Not only that, you can separate I, a huge difference with, with Shannon and myself as well, separating work from home because it's easy to just want to sleep in easy to not be oh, we need to get some laundry done 
you know, if you're away from home, you're not really, really thinking about those Speaking things. Of, we haven't done laundry in a really long time. Because <laughs> <laughs> we've been here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we're here Saturday. We really need to the do kids, laundry. The kids were up here, and Shannon's like napping on the the futon. I'm sorry, I didn't know I was tired. And Anthony comes, the the husband of our contract screen printing client. And he's like, "Hey, I I came to see if you need any help." And I'm sitting there sucking on a popsicle. <laughs> I initially was was gonna be like, "No, we got it, Shannon. Shannon's gonna take care of it." I'm like, "Huh?" <laughs> and uh, so he he stuck around and, and helped out of the kindness of his heart and cool Mostly guy. Because Angela was kicking him out of the house, so they could right. make sure this gets done. <laughs> yeah, but that that was cool too because then I I was able to connect with him and for him to really see how much work goes into it and. It's, yeah, it's funny it's, because we were talking and he's jamming out to... He, he's about 10 years older than I am. I was still awake for the um, Larry Scared. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> he's playing music and um, he... Uh, it's funny because Angela was like... Um, he, he said he had a good time hanging out and helping. But not only that, he it, it wore him out. So therefore, he really got to see... That this just isn't yeah, this is like what we do. You know, they're, we're, they're, we're not why it can't be, you know, just what you can't just get them to me today. Right. And and why we can't just exactly um they're a special case. We we do work with pricing, but when it comes to other not clients so or whatever that. the case is, yeah. We we, we not budging. love this one on prices and we're going to have to revise our prices and she brings us food and she poisoned Matt, bump but the whatever. things up because we're it wouldn't even say to this day like we're still having like a hard time keeping up with things i think now to an extent no now we are i think at the beginning we were kind of just chugging along and i think it was getting great but now like the snowball started that's what I think. The snowball has started rolling down the hill, and soon it's going to become a big ass. I don't want to say snowman because it's only one ball, but you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> right. So part of part of my way of thinking is just raising the the prices, and those that want our, our services and and find value in our customer service and the quality of our printing. Our, our knowledge and, and sharing that with them, helping them achieve their, their end goal, whether it's a, a clothing line or if they're a charity or whatever the case may be, a school looking for good prices and uh, just kind of like building value in all, all of those things, customer service, the, the, the quality of our work, and then uh, sharing our expertise and really kind of overall just giving them the best experience to our abilities that we can. And I, I think we'll, we'll definitely weed out some of those that are just price shopping because we, we can do the, the price thing. We can do the price wars crap, but that's going to come down to contract printing and, you know, they're sending us 500 pieces, a thousand pieces where we're making uh, a set income an hour not a whole lot of setup time but if someone's coming to us and they're like trying to price war 12 to 36 shirts or something like that no 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 nah, it's not happening you're paying 15 bucks a shirt for 12 shirts buddy all right um <laughs> Well, what you got there i Shana? also think might be investments if you feel like it's going to be um something profitable down the road i mean there's always going to be some sort of gamble with a lot of these new kids right and i think part of it too is really like maybe even if and this has had work has worked well in the past when i initially started and but granted i was doing some really low pricing uh google adwords worked quite well and we've getting, been getting quite a bit of kind of you spend hundred fifty dollars and we'll match it kind of deal and so I, I think I might do a little bit of a video working on that and I definitely got a, a target market in mind in the sense that I'm 
not necessarily going to go after the 18 to you know late 20 people it's the the people that actually are, are willing to pay or, or have the money to pay what we're worth tend to be those in their early to you know to 50s 60s um you know, so I I, th I think we need the the market, and that's what a, a lot of our, our viewers are. A lot of you guys are. Sorry if ladies, if I'm kind of grouping everybody in a, a particular group, but there's quite a bit of um, people that are that are age that are interested in seeing what we're doing, and not only that, also us kind of collaborating together. We've we've had people that we've collaborated with and I, I'd like to see more of that not only from our audience from you guys but uh, just n new potential clients and there's some other avenues that we're going to explore but I feel like we need to get to a little bit better of a place in, in the sense that uh, we're not constantly feeling like we're trying to catch up and we'll have some time to actually go out to like say for instance the the lake like Houston uh, City of Commerce thing where they have all these networking events where we most everybody that's part of the association is you know in our age group or, or older which they have businesses and which they're doing well and are more like Ken like Ken for instance perfect low quantity client 15 to 20 bucks every single time it's 50. 50? Yeah, it's mostly 50. Well, well there, you, there you go. There well, are dickies yeah. and it's like a small quantity of embroidery. But I'm talking about if it were like a single t-shirt, you know, and rather was, than doing well, when he the provided, pricing we've been. I, I gave him 22 when he provided. Right. So the, the point is uh, a lot of our, our market is some of those smaller quantities and then we have everything in between. We have the... 70, 36 pieces, 24, 72, 100 plus, 1,000 or so for like with the contract printing type stuff. So um, definitely plan on keeping you guys updated vlogs. This past week, I really hadn't had a whole lot of time to, to post anything up. I got some video ideas uh, that are, are geared to some of the, the newer people getting into screen printing. I think that's very important, but also some of the th things like uh, what what screen printing equipment do I need? I've had that question asked, so plan on kind of going around and giving my Oops. explanation as to or stating as far as our setup. Here's what we have. There's definitely you definitely could spend a lot more money. You definitely could spend less in order to start a. a t-shirt business, screen printing shop, clothing line, whatever the case may be. So I've got some ideas brewing and just keep an eye out for those. We've just been really busy. Very, very, very excited about the uh, new press coming in. Aren't you, Shannon? Mm -hmm. I, I really am. I, I know. I am too. I'm like, how? I mean, obviously, how could you not? <laughs> We're we're getting a return on. I wouldn't say we're kind of getting our money back for what we put into the press that that we did buy. Uh, no, but, I th I just think it's it's an amazing thing that's happening, and I'm seriously wowed by the way that this it's all is, unfolding. Yeah, the way this journey is turning out, it's amazing. Now, it can is. I it's please really get cool. back? Can I get to the comments because we have ignored like about a million of them? Yes. Okay. We're gonna go to the chat now. We'll hit up the chat for a good ten minutes or so, and then uh, we're gonna go kick off Margarita Monday. Well, Mexican, food. Mexican food Monday. Shannon's favorite. You know, I actually wouldn't you used say? To like it. What? I used to like it. Yeah, I used to like Italian food too. <laughs> when was the last time we had Italian? Oh my God, we eat pasta all the time. Like, what's wrong with this my weekend? 
that doesn't count. Oh my god. No, it Annie's counts. macaroni and cheese with hot dog. We use it for the kids. Does not count. By the way, I couldn't eat it. Hey, that's that's possibly me. Um, Live chat's not pulled up for whatever reason, Anyways, so I'll just put okay. it on on the shop then. Anyways, so um, I'm, guys, I'm sorry we're not gonna be able to get to everybody because Matt is, as you have noticed, very loquacious. And However, yeah, I'm, I'm addressing the the topic at hand there. And would you stop knocking the microphone down to your chest? I'm not. <laughs> I hit is it, it just falling? Yes. Time for a new mic stand. It is just falling. It's not my fault. This thing's got some miles. <laughs> so why am I immediately getting blamed? You know it's old. It's not that old. It's about six years old. Which is actually kind of old. I got my 25 bucks out of it a long time ago. Okay, well, Aurelia Dragon wants to know the brand of the new automatic. We're not telling, and I think I want to try to, like, place some bets. Because <laughs> everyone's betting on, like, all different things. Um, how, how should we unfold that? Should we? Should we? I think I, just a bam. I, I mean. Look at our new I, one. I do plan on putting a, a video out just as soon as it comes in. But I don't know. May, maybe a, a live thing would be cool for everybody can kind of experience at the same time. Would, would that be cool? Or should I, I should just vlog it? Let, let us know and uh, add Mikey Designs and Silkscreen in the chat. Let us know what you guys think. I think we should what, do both. You think we should do both? I think we should do both. I think we should talk about it when it gets in. We'll um, just tell what it is, and then you can have a vlog about it, which I'm sure they will um, appreciate. Well, if we do it live, then the video isn't going to get... Not nearly as near many as... people watch the live as they do your videos. I'll say that, and I, I think I might want to do this a little more often. Friday, the day that I went live, we were doing the, the thousand piece order. That is by far the most viewed live. There's like a couple thousand, Thanks, a couple thousand views. No, and it's it's nothing against us. It's just that the video was shorter, but also, like a lot of other people were saying, that they're interested in in seeing the behind the scenes kind of stuff. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll have to expand on that. Maybe we could. We'll uh, talk. Maybe we could do that to. I'm not going to say anything. I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll talk over. We'll talk about it because I got an idea. I got an idea. Uh, I feel like I, I need to match how far back you are. I am at the very freaking beginning because you have talked a lot. What? Not that there's anything wrong with that. You've been um, nope. shot one says that one shot or whatever is said that it's a great topic. Um, I'm just going to guys. I'm sorry. I got a skim. Um, yeah, um, if you're you're still in the chat, sorry, Shannon. If you're still in the chat at Mikey Designs and Silk Screens, that way we can get to it um, now because um, I'm hungry. I, I've I've had some I've had some lifesaver gummies to eat. I think that's about it. Anyways, go ahead, Shannon. That's all I've had to. Um, Ralph Pina says, Mikey, want to do a sis on my Epson 1430, but the website you put up on the video you put up doesn't have anything. Um, we will look into that. Go go over to eBay and type in uh, CISS kit uh, for an Epson 1430, and be sure to put in screen printing, and it will have all black system. I got mine from eBay. Okay. Um... What else we got there? We got, okay, Tom actually asked if he minds um, knowing what we're paying for the shop. And actually, what Matt said in the beginning, he misspoke because you said it was 750 square feet. It's 1,000 square feet. We're paying 750. Yes. And that's because you said it was 750 square feet. Okay. Yeah, it's 1,000 square foot. The shop is probably... 150, 200 square foot at the most. And then uh, we have everything organized to a point towards where we're utilizing like every little square inch. We're not too cramped, but we're getting there pretty quick. We pay, like Shannon was saying, 750. Uh, ever since the automatic came in, 
which this automatic here uh, uses up quite a bit of energy. Uh, one of the reasons we're doing the upgrade is less consumption. But the lights these days are about 500 internet, 130. Um, water, 60 bucks. Uh, alarm, 45 bucks. Insurance, 78. There you go. Me. Um, the, the overhead cost of, of the shop really isn't that expensive. Um, three or four orders, if even that, easily takes care of it. So. Okay. Uh, well, Brands and Empires, you were saying, um, ask him to contact you. He said it's hard to fit a coherent response. 200 senses. He'll be happy to dig deeper later. Um, Leonardo. Right. Uh, says that garage is for part time, which I kind of have to disagree with because I watched it unfold mm -hmm. with you uh, after you went full time with it and we were still working out of the house in the garage. So I wouldn't say it's really quite for part time. It, it's suitable for part time. I think it's, but it's the it's the stepping stone before you get your own shop and stuff you have to have it established and everything so i don't i don't agree that the garage is for part time yeah you have to build up i would not get a shop space without having some clientele especially if you plan on doing this full time and not only yourself but your family depends on you i, I think in that case oh that'll light a fire need, under your house you need to kind of make wise decisions if you're in a situation where you you don't have children you don't have a spouse or anything like that to where someone like really depends on you and perhaps maybe you're the the sole provider um, then yeah I mean start out part-time in the garage and then get a shop and see how it goes. I think at that point, there's not a whole lot of risk, but for us, there's quite a bit of risk. That's, that's my just, two cents. Yeah. But well, my two cents is I don't think that garage working is just for part time. I think that it's a, it's a means to an end and starting the direction of where you want to be. But right, I, agree. I I don't I don't think that it's just for part time. Right, just it's, after after watching you and you have, God, Matt, you have no idea the respect I have for you. Like watching what you did, and like how it. No, I'm serious. Don't. No, don't I, I know. I, I, like I, my respect for you is like, wow, because I watched the way you worked from when you were still at that other job. And then you woke me up on your birthday and you said, hey, I just quit my job. And I was like, <laughs> nah, what? And then you yeah, went so at it full to work. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And then you went at it full time and then you started the YouTube thing. And you got really into like analyzing, you know, like the the link thingy. Oh, and the affiliate stuff. Yeah, the affiliates. And you started putting a whole lot of time in everything. And you started researching like ways that we could get the shop. And I have watched you move from part time in the garage to full time in the garage to full time in the shop. And I think it's I think it's amazing. And I still want you to do that vlog of like Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, like I, we're we're thinking about doing a vlog of um a, a you know, just like a montage. The kind of the, the growth of things. And, and there's there's probably a lot of you out there that don't don't really realize that um when I started some of the, the videos that I did, um uh, I I think I initially started when I, I went full-time. However, I was doing it part-time, went full-time, um, had some uh, a huge change in my life, and lost a, a lot of clients. Had to get a, a part-time job. Technically, it was part-time. I was working 32 hours a week. And that started really to make my business suffer, and it put me in a position where I I knew that that's not what I wanted to do was work for somebody else. I wanted to pursue my dream. So I took the chance again. I was just like, forget it. Um, even though it's, it's paying off. It's still there. There's many times when there's, there's been huge 
risks. And we're still taking those huge risks that potentially could be a make or break us kind of deal. But again, it's we tend to make decisions wisely. And do we? We do. Mostly, I feel like we're, we're like landing on sheer luck. <laughs> we're, we, I mean, it's like hiring Michelle, for instance. You know, we're completely swamped, and it's like, okay, this is the transition. We need a graphic designer. Well, we need well, a, yeah, it was we're Panda swamped, at first, so, right? Yeah, Panda. And we, and well, I didn't bitch about it, but you bitched about it. And like, you know, just the, some of like the length of time that he would be here and stuff like the, that, and then, oh, would, yeah. and then you would um, then you would yell at me because he, I bitch I, about he, everybody around here. I know. Hey, <laughs> including you at times. What are you doing? What are you doing right now? I'm looking up a plant, or you. I'm looking at Groupon. Stop looking at Groupon, and get to work. You. I don't even get a lunch are, hour. <sighs> Your grouponing is your lunch hour, but you take. Oh, anyways, I'm not gonna even go in. Five minutes. <laughs> yeah, I have a five minute lunch hour and no, no fifteen minute breaks. That's federally regulated, and you know you actually have to give me those now because you signed me up with my Some, social security. But I'm, I'm just saying. Anyways, all I'm gonna say is down. sometimes I have to pull the reins on, in on the the fun. As much fun as I would like to have, we still have a responsibility as a business a to employ a couple people and before we can employ them we have to employ ourselves so i th i think about that yeah and basically what that means for me is you got i to. have, I you have got to. to like you know be aware of how much he can hear me laughing because michelle and i'll be working and we'll be just typing and she'll be drawing and we'll be just talking and i'm staring at the screen and she's staring at her screen I, and we'll make a uh, joke and then i'll laugh and then i go uh oh he i've heard noticed me. I'm having a too much fun. lot more cell phone usage we talked Anyways, about that last okay. monday but um we still hadn't had that meeting well we thought that page got ghosted so um uh, anyhow all right, let's see. Enough, it turns out most of those phone calls are from her mom. All right, let's see if there's a, a, any uh, more comments or questions. No, and then. Lot, but I don't think we're going to get to them. Okay, what, I'm going to go through some of these real quick. I'm just going to kind of uh, hard to find a coherent response. It's going to be key to put people in place who take ownership and orders, someone running production, someone fielding, walking traffic that eats into your time uh brands and empires i completely understand where you're coming from shannon handles that part i'm the production dude and our manager uh, I, I still have to kind of oversee everything michelle does the artwork um i i'd say that i mean kind of like we're talking about you're eventually going to come to a point i wouldn't necessarily go like jumping right into oh i need so-and-so to do this this and that um for us it's about slowly growing things and making sure things fit for us um indigenous we've been great i i know we said hello to him earlier um okay this is great Leonardo 29098. I started in my garage, but I moved moved to a small shop and it was great. Uh, he wants a bigger shop now. There goes a little bit of proof in the pudding, so to speak. Let's see who else. Just trying to go through some of these comments. Hi, blessed. See if we've got any. Hey, what's up, Blessed? I don't think we've uh, we are, heard, I haven't had a heard from Blessed say hi. in a while, have we? Not for I, a while. I'm, I'm not, I haven't really been. I would know that. Hey, hey, fun fact, guys. A herd of unicorns is called a blessing. How wonderful is that? There's your little bit of happy. <laughs> your little bit of happiness. Yeah, my, just a little spark of happy for the day. My little bit of happiness is that you can't spell happiness without the word penis. Although, uh, I'm sure there's uh, lots of people that will disagree with that. No? No, not cool? 
Not to tag on to the comment something of a you are interested in. Um, I don't know if that was geared towards us. For us, I would say no, not at the moment. Ends Print Co. Matt, how are you collaborating as a print shop? Um, as far as collaborating, I, I would say, you know, it's, it's contract printing type stuff. Uh, I hope I'm understanding the question right. I thought he kind of meant, you know, collaborating with Michelle and the team, but okay. But I don't that know. If, I don't know the if question. it's the, I don't know if that's the actual. We're thing. we're collaborating well in that front. Uh, we we all get along. We have our laughs. But also, uh, there's a certain amount of respect between everybody when it's like, here's a task. If Michelle will go to a strip club with us, <laughs> which I think is is awesome that she doesn't want to because then there's that, that not that we want to either. Just pointing that, that out. <laughs> clear division. You know, we're just farting around with her, but there's that clear division. And and I I knew or know when I was in that kind of position, I wouldn't have wanted to go with my boss either. So Panda, on the other hand, that's that's where it's like more of a friend than anything he would be like hell yeah let's go to the strip club me you and i like we're gonna go to a strip club and, and then i'm gonna punch you in the face <laughs> <laughs> but we don't do that we do family friendly stuff like eat at restaurants go to the beach um gigs we do gigs together or have Anyways, in the past but yeah Fun so stuff. but um but also i've noticed that like it's been great also having michelle on because they've i've gotten a lot of requests lately for um people asking me to put them in the right direction towards like where their designs and things like that and so i'll drag michelle over here and i'll be like okay so look at this i'm thinking this what are your opinions on that and then she'll either counter it or she'll you know just confirm what i was already thinking and that, i think that's actually really kind of cool like today like today <laughs> with the um with the, with the american flag thingy the blocks Oh yeah. Yeah, she and I were like uh, collaborating over that when you came in and you were like get back to work and I was like we're actually working. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, interesting something interesting uh so Brands and Empires says he's got $1 on a diamond back. Oh, and they're all taking bets. I, I Liberty, through. yeah, Liberty um Matt does not does not like the blue guys, so it might be work workhorse or Anatol. I I have never guy. said that I don't like any particular company is what uh, course not the blue guys no that's mnr uh, mnr okay right we have an mnr that's a tiny little press well still we have one i'm just gonna say this and this is politically correct matt and i'm not even gonna say that that it's politically correct this is just my honest opinion I think MNR has a great product. I think Workhorse has a great product. I think Anatol has a great product. The only one that I can't really say that I'm jazzed about is I'm not even gonna say that. Sorry, I, Brands. Oh, Brands everyone and, knows. Everyone knows. Brands and Empires. He he has a brown. I'll say that's probably the only one that I'm not jazzed about. I have looked into it, um, and that's only because. And it might be a color thing. I don't know. They've seen for, and the the <laughs> interface of the press. I don't. I don't know. I do I remember know. at the I, the Houston ISS show. I w when no, we were, oh you like that I, was like the I least know what it is. jazz you were. About no, any but other people. I was going to talk to them, and they wouldn't give me the time of day. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. It, and a lot of that comes down to them giving you the time of day making you feel welcome making you feel like you're not just a number out there yeah you know, that... even even someone like Ryonet, um you know friendly staff and, and it really I comes hug Ryan. down <laughs> it really comes down to if i'm at an iss show looking at presses how quickly is the vendor greeting me how open are they and friendly about showing off their their equipment, how knowledgeable they are about it, and price point as well. I mean, it comes down to it, warranty of, of course, and all that. But I think the the first impression is, oh yeah, 
how but, you're greeted. But to be fair, though, it's not always the first impression. Like, say, take the two ISS shows that we went to in the last, you know, year. The Fort Worth one. God, we couldn't stand the guys from GSG because they were so predatory hunting. Right. But then the second one at Houston, it, they were all like really friendly, and I introduced myself and we talked, and then they invited us to the after party, which was, you know, which was to be expected. But the thing that was amazing about that was I walked past a couple of them, and I didn't even realize because I was like focused on getting back to you. Right. And they were like, hey, Shannon. And I went, what? And I come sit down. Like one of them actually pulls out a table and just sits me with the rest of them, and they don't even the, try to sell me anything. They They know you because of of the youtube channel or no, was that they, when we they, introduced you know, ourselves earlier yeah it was from when we introduced ourselves earlier that day okay. well see that's 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 a, like that was amazing great service yeah or, and they or didn't, just just you know building a relationship building yeah. a relationship and just showing like you know the kind of company that they are like i could like the guys at the dallas one oh my god like i like I could see like, what, yeah, pretty much. Like <laughs> I could see what heading towards me, and I'm like, quick, look away, turn around, look uh, away, don't look, don't look, don't look, do not make eye contact, because <laughs> <laughs> it, it was just so predatory. But these guys were just nice, and they pulled out a chair for me, and then they didn't sell me anything, and they just kept giving me drinks, which you know is the fastest way to the shop, Gnome's heart. <laughs> so we got in saying Anatol or Rock. Rybeat says he got the brown. Uh, Brands and Empires Rock is the auto of our generation, so you might just be right. Um, I, I love hearing everybody's feedback. You guys will just have to the, the wait around. There's no way Matt bought a brown. <laughs> <laughs> I got a brown because I had to fit it in an eight foot diameter. And, and yeah, I, I saw that in, in the video, and that's that, I mean that's something the to, to consider as well. I mean that's something we've considered. Space is a premium for us as well. So um, I don't think he is going to be a rock. Says Liberty, don't knock the brown. Heard good things. Okay, well I I haven't really. <laughs> I think what it is, honestly, is that when we were starting to look for, you know, automatics and stuff, one off putting thing was just a way to like narrow it down just a little bit more. And uh, like the first impression of, you know, what kind of customer service we would get if we did go with it. I mean, right. they might be they might be great machines. I don't know. I don't speak screen printer. I speak Yeah, and they might be. I, I guess we'll find out, won't we, Shannon? I already know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not finding out shit. <laughs> uh, I found out this morning that it was upgraded. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to uh, break that news off to you that. Yeah, that, hey, that's how I woke up. Guess what? I'm just like, oh my God, it's already work time. <laughs> guess what? We're not the. You're supposed to give me like 10 minutes like to decompress from the idea of like, I have to go back to work. And I hope you're sleeping. cool with it, but I'm, I'm changing the direction <laughs> we're yeah, going in. Much. We're gonna have um, three more colors than the our press that we currently have, and two more stations. Oh, Dave Moore says brown sucks, and brands and empires just set a sad face. Oh, what now? <laughs> Dave Moore said brown sucks, and um, brands and empires just made a small sad emoji. <laughs> oh, you know what? It when it comes down to it, it. it they get you from A to B. Oh, cool. Indigenous, congrats. What did, what did he say? What did I miss? He's gets a, he gets, he's getting a new shop. And it's got 1,875 um, square feet. And Dang. They're moving, they're moving from California to Nevada in a few weeks. Dang. Congratulations. congratulations. That's, That's awesome. amazing. I'm so happy for you. When are you coming to the ISS shows? I want to meet you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, speaking of the ISS shows, uh, Blessed wants to know who's going. We're going. We'll get to meet you there if we can. Uh, yeah, Fort Worth, ISS, we'll be there. I know Rybeats will be there. Liberty will be there. Uh, more than likely, T-Shirt Chick will be there. Um, Orange Star, is it Orange Star mentioned whether or not he's going? No, we told Orange Star to sign up as quick as possible so he doesn't miss out on the um, okay. free. Yeah, so uh, it'll be a lot of fun. I I'm I'm excited about it. A lot of fun. Well, It's I not going to be as fun as last time, though. Why not? How would it not be? Because it was fun watching the kids run around. And by kids, I mean Panda and Isla. 
No, it'll still be a lot of fun. Didn't you have fun at the ISS show in Houston? Yes. There you go. GSG just kept bringing me drinks. <laughs> there you go. We need to get there. Oh, but like, I, canvas. I, I think we should maybe just have mach or somebody come up here Friday to answer calls at least. And then we can head out first thing in the morning because I want to make the happy hour. Fridays, the happy hours on Fridays are always killer. And Liberty... Uh, always killer. Yeah, we always have a good time. We had a, we had a good time with... Are you talking about the after party? Yes. Okay. Oh, you well, said happy hour. That that starts it out, the happy hour. And then we go to the somebody's after party. Oh, my God. The Ryanette after party was really freaking funny. That was actually in Houston, though. Um, right. But it was just it was so funny because it was all paid for. I went to the bar and... I was like, can I get a vodka cranberry? And they were like, what kind of vodka? I can choose. <laughs> and they're like, yeah, we got blah, 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 blah. And they listed the tiers and they were like, we also have Grey Goose. I was like, I'll take that. I don't know the difference in taste, but I'll What's take up, it. What's up, t-shirt chick? Sin! <laughs> Sin. So, um, yeah, oh, I, 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 I would... Oh, Marty wants to read up a spot. Yay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I would like if possible to get up there by like four o'clock and be inside the show because also you got to take into consideration if we're having a little get together at liberties and his wife doesn't allow um wetting your whistle that will be the time for us to to kind of unwind in a um A bar situation. I'm just gonna say it. It's a bar situation. Or or ha we don't go to bars, so it's like our chance to go hang out with a bunch of screen printing pals at a bar. <laughs> and we even hang out inside that one place for too long. We we hung out with Sin and Jason uh, says, how are you guys hungry? My phone's going to die. <laughs> <laughs> We're hungry. We're getting out of here. Thanks everybody for tuning in. We really appreciate it. Oh, and um, Ryan we'll get back to you on like finding a spot. Yes, yes. Well, we'll uh, just text us. We're about to, to go to dinner. So And if we um, I know we've missed a lot. Matt, like I said, Matt is loquacious to a fault. And... Yeah, because oh my god, like you are not whatsoever. All right, so we're going to get out of here. We appreciate everybody tuning in. And Matt and um, I are going to have a conversation about that talk at, uh, over be, margaritas. <laughs> be sure to uh, keep an eye out for some more videos. I'm going to hopefully get around to some this, this week. I'm pretty sure I will. But um, And also, keep an ear to the ground for updates on the, the press and just vlogs and, you know, a little bit of the, the usual stuff and working on up in our Joe. game on the channel. You do have forgot about it. I, I apologize about that. Uh, well, I just, just been completely swamped and. But you guys are getting to keep all our your head prizes. Up, head up above water. Uh, I apologize. You'll get them this week. We'll see you guys next mm -hmm. time. We're gonna go eat. See you guys later. Peace, guys. Hearts. See y'all next time. <laughs>